The second reason now for why we are supposed to fast the month of Sha'bah. Why did Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fast the month of Sha'bah? The Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he then said, وَهُوَ شَهْرٌ تُرْفَعُ فِيهِ الْأَعْمَالُ إِلَىٰ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ it is the month in which the deeds are taken up to the Lord of the worlds, Allahu Akbar. And this is a massive event. This is one of the huge events of the entire year. It's happening now in the month of Sha'ban that the deeds are going to be raised to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, deeds being raised to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happen in three ways. There is every single day at Fajr time, your deeds are raised. And at uh, Asr time, your deeds are raised, right? This is a daily taking up of your deeds to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So every 12 hours or less, your deeds are going up to Allah azza wa Then there's a type in where every 72 hours, your deeds are going up to Allah azza wa And that is Monday and Thursday. Mondays, your deeds go up to Allah. Thursday, your deeds go up to Allah. This is why Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would fast Monday and Thursday. And then there is this grand event in where it is a yearly event. And that is your deeds, all of them go to up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala once a year. And this happens in the month of Sha'ban, Allahu a'lam which day. But it is going to happen in this month. This is a grand event. How can people neglect this month? And not care about the worship of Allah when the most important event in your entire life is going to happen very soon. Allahu alam, which day and which night it will happen. Our deeds are going to go up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during this month. Allahu Akbar, one year of your life, 365 days of your life are going to be raised to Allah azza wa during this month. 365 days. How many days of them did you fast? 365 nights will be raised. Allah Azza wa Jal came down in each night of these nights. How many of them did you get up for night prayer and dua and istighfar and reading Quran? 365 days. How many of them did you pray with Al-Jama'ah, Salat Al-Fajr and the other prayers? How many pages of the Quran did you read? In 365 days that are going to be raised to Allah Azza wa Jal, Allahu Akbar. 365 days of deeds are going to be raised to Allah during this month. Allah Azza wa Jal, He says, every small and every great thing has been recorded. All of it is going to go up to Allah Azza wa Jal. 365 days and nights of what the angels have been recording for you and against you whether you're aware of your deeds or not, are going to all be taken to Allah Azza wa Jal in any day of these days of Sha'ban. Every word you spoke and every look and every glance and every step, every backbiting, every fitna you fell into, every haram and every good action, all of it will be raised to Allah Azza wa Jal during this month. Allahu A'lam which day, Allahu A'lam which night of Sha'ban it's going to go up. Last Ramadan will be raised these coming days. The last Laylat al-Qadr will be raised during these days. Therefore, my brothers and sisters in Islam, we need to understand that we are not dealing with easy days now. These are the most crucial and important days of the year. As I said to you, Ramadan are the most rewarding days. But these days here are crucial, are important. They're important. And the question is, Will Allah Azza wa Jal accept your deeds or not? Or will they be rejected? Will this record now that is going to be raised to Allah, your record of 365 days, is it going to earn you the paradise? Is it going to bring you a step closer to the paradise or not? Will Allah Azza wa Jal be pleased with it or not? Or will it displease Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or not? Allahu Akbar. But this is why I tell you, this is the most intense event of the year. And how can people be heedless? This is why Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would fast. Allahu Akbar. And this is why I'm telling you Sha'ban is an important, crucial month, even though Ramadan is more rewarding than it. Then Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, finally he said, فَأُحِبُّ أَنْ يُرْفَعَ عَمَلِي وَأَنَا صَائِمٌ 
And I like that my deeds be taken up to Allah while I am in the state of fasting. Allahu Akbar. Then this is why the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would fast. He would fast, number one, because the people neglect this month. And number two, because the deeds are being raised. Ooh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as I said to you, he used to fast the entire month. Aisha radiallahu anha, she said, كَانَ يَصُومُ شَعْبَانَ كُلَّهُ and in other narration, she said, كَانَ يَصُومُ شَعْبَانَ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا If we put these two narrations together, we come up with the fact that the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would fast the majority of this month. He would only break his fast perhaps two or three days of this month. Otherwise, the majority of the month he's fasting.